We are Team Devotion to Motion, bringing you a much wanted story. Let's, Let's get started. started. Alright, so first things first, some moves you're going to want down is a cheek gainer, which Chris just demonstrated, and a B twist. Now, if you don't have those moves down, Chris and I have tutorials for both of those out right now, so please check those out before you get into this move, because what a cork is, is it's a combination of the cheat gainer and a beat twist. Down, don't, don't bring me down. So now we're going to go over the takeoff for the cork. We went over this in our cheat gainer tutorial, and it's relatively the same. Uh, you do the same J step, or you can do uh, a double step as well. And so the J step, when you do it, uh, step here and you make a J with your foot. The biggest thing is turning that foot uh, at a 90, 180 degree angle. And then you gotta get a good, good swim through. Well, um, honestly, if you're gonna start learning parks and two gainers, the best stepping uh, to take into it first is a J step. Um, and then, like Chris said, when you plant that, when you plant your foot, you really want to emphasize turning it. It's because that's gonna force your kick to do, you're just gonna force this leg to do a 180, and that gives you the most power. So, if I just do a 90 degree turn and kick here, it gives me no power. But if I do, if, if I turn my foot as hard as I can, pivot and turn all the way around my body, it gives you a lot, me a lot more power with my kicking leg. So, and one more thing, uh, the, the lunge is also a huge part of it. The bigger the lunge you take, then the, the longer, more power you're gonna get with your leg when you swing through. So you kick up with your shoulder and at the same time as your arms swing up towards the sky. And a big mistake I've seen a lot of people make, including people on my team, is that what they do is they don't J-step hard enough and they end up traveling forward. And that's it just really doesn't work out. So you want to really emphasize hitting that J-step hard so you can swing your leg all the way around your body and you can turn your forward momentum into backward momentum. And then another big thing is don't lean back. Uh, if you lean back, you're going to start your twist way too close to the ground and you're not going to make it all the way around. Um, you really want to emphasize kicking your leg up towards the sky as well as swinging your arms up towards the sky at the same time. And then once you see your arms, then you twist. That's when you initiate twist. Yeah, so it's a really big deal is you really want to get that height, see your arms, and then twist. And we'll get into that more later into the tutorial on when you want to twist. Moving like the speed of sound. So now we're going to go into the twist. So, like Jackson said, you don't want to start the twist until you can see your hands right here. And uh, and most people call it, it's a 360 cork, but actually the twist is a 540 if you want to land it. Uh, so, you're here, and you have to twist, okay, here's the twist. 360 would be here. You can't land it right here, you gotta do another 180 to land it. That's basically it. Uh, if you can learn a B twist, it's the same landing, you come out of it the same, land on your uh, non-kicking leg, so this one. Else? Yeah, um, a, a really big problem a lot of people has is when, have when, you, is when you go up for a cork, uh, it's a lot different than a B-twist because you have the 540 spin, a B-twist is just a 360. When you go up and then you start your twist, you see the ground first. And then you need to pass the ground, and then you see it again, and you open up. And that's a big problem is because when people start the spin, they see the ground, and then they open up. So you're really going to have to train your body to do that is by going up and seeing the ground, passing it, and then making it all the way around. So when you go up, you can't go up and then twist, like in a back full. You always see them, they set and then they twist. You can't do that in a cork. When you go up, it has to be a circular motion. So you're here, okay, and you make a circular motion. You can't go up and then twist because you're going to twist really slow. So you got to get it all in one yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, so now we're going to get into another big part is the spotting. Is uh, when I was practicing my corks, I would always go into them blind, blindly, and I would twist too early. Um, so what what really helped me start to land them is I'd go up, and right before I was about to twist, I watched my arms come down, and that made my head look over my shoulder. And that way, when you come up for the second spin and you see the ground, then you can open up and land gracefully and swing that leg through and get like a gainer or another cork in there. Um, so yeah, the spotting is a really big part of it. Make sure that uh, if you're not landing your corks and they feel like and you're not getting a feel for them, try spotting. It's, re it's really helpful. Um, anything else? No, that's absolutely right. Just same way you turn your arms, turn your head the same way, and you'll be able to see the ground. No, I can't wrong. Yeah. Okay, there's
there's just a few more things that we want to add in on mistakes that we've seen people made or that we've made, made ourselves. So, uh, Chris, is there something you want to go over? Alright, so when I was first learning course, I was just, when I started, I started landing them and it was great, but I was getting really mad because when I, I, I always see, you always see the people land them like this and it's just so cool, but I could never reach out just with my left leg. I was always landing them just two feet and it just didn't, didn't feel like a cork, but that is, that is how you start out. You will probably land them like that when you start out and that's fine. You just have to keep training on when you're up, just keep the twist horizontal and then reach out with the one leg, like opening up. And it comes with every flip. It's every twist flip you you learn to open. It's not just you can't hold the twist the entire time. You have to and uh, another thing is that a lot of people they're used to like regular flips and tucking flips. Is when they try a cork, they're not used to a spin move. And that's why I'm saying like that's what we're both saying. Get that V twist in. It helps you learn the twist moves. Because what happens is people get in, they twist. But when they kick this leg, they bring it in and they tuck. And when you, if you if you've seen like some other tutorials, a lot of people go over like if you spin like to like just stand up and try spinning like this with your arms open and your legs open. It's really difficult. But if you spin tight like pencil, you spin a lot quicker. So you really want to get tight. Don't tuck. That's a big part of it. Anything else? Want to add? So, that's all. All right. Now we're gonna go over some cork variations, my favorite move, um, and so just different different things you can do in your corks, and that'll help you get the doubles get, uh, when you get more comfortable with them, and uh, some more takeoffs too. And then you guys can hit it in practice. Chris, uh, I know we already have we have two Chris's in the group. We have smaller Chris and this is taller Chris. But uh, he is a um, he is a member of Dual Motion team and uh, he cannot cork yet. But he's done the prerequisites. He can cheat gainer and he can B twist. And he is about to attempt a, uh, a scoop cork and uh, he may or may not land. But let's see how it goes. Are you ready? That was close. Alright, it's good as sound. If you uh Alright guys, thanks for watching. I really hope this course tutorial helped you guys out. Thank you for the view and um anything else? Keep practicing. Uh, thank you, like and subscribe for more tutorials and Chris and I will get at it. If you guys wanna uh, request some, we'll try to we'll do our best to get it out there. Alright, thanks guys. Devotion. Once upon a younger year, when all our shadows disappeared, the animals inside came out to play.